Hi everyone, it's Microwave Sam. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record your screen on Ubuntu. Now, Ubuntu is a Linux distribution that some of you might use, and it's one of the most popular Linux distributions out there. And recording your screen, you might want to do it. So, we're going to use a program called Simple Screen Recorder. I'll leave a link in the description of how to do all the steps, but first off, to do this, step one is to open up a new terminal. Now you might have a terminal icon at the left side on your taskbar, you can just open it up, but if you don't have the terminal icon, you can use search your computer on online resources, type in terminal in the text box, and then open up by clicking the terminal icon. Now a purple window will pop up and you can use the following command to get started. Now I'll leave this command in the description, but if you type in sudo add-app-repository, you're adding a repository to the links. Basically, we're providing the linkage to this simple screen recorder program. So if you press enter over here, it's going to prompt you for the password. sudo in this command stands for super user. Add-app-repository stands for adding the linkage, basically, to the following, which is a link to simple screen recorder. Then you type in your password and it adds the linkage which is this link over here. If you press enter to continue you add the linkage. Now this linkage even though it's added you need or you should update. So to update the repositories in which app-get which is a normal command on Ubuntu that is used for mainly installing new applications, new programs, etc. app-get should update to record this new repository change because you add a repository now you want to update that change so you do this command sudo space app-get space update to add that repository and also update your previous repositories that you have on your app dash get. So it's going to take its time and add the package list links. And once that's done, you can follow up with the next step to actually installing. So you do sudo again because sudo uh, for these installations and updates, you need to use a super user, which is just another name for administrator. So you do sudo app dash get install. And now, since the linkage is already in our package list, all we need to do is specify the program name. So it's called Simple Screen Recorder. Then you can just press enter and it'll say a bunch of little things but basically you just um, it's gonna give you a prompt that says do you want to install this Y slash no and then you just press Y and then press enter and then it's gonna install the program but I'm actually using the program itself to record a screen and I find simple screen recorder or reliable program to record my Ubuntu screen so you press yes and then you enter and then you record well it installs the program it says a bunch of stuff it takes you very quickly to actually install the program and then you have it now after you have the program you can actually open the program immediately with your terminal if you type in simple screen recorder it opens up an instance of the program but at the left side you might have noticed that I have the program running already but see it opens up simple screen recorder you can always use the terminal to enter but within that terminal it's gonna have its little link um, little startup log type of uh, commands you can always do control C in the terminal to close the program and then close it to program or of course you can always search on your actual computer then search for simple screen recorder and you can see the icon appears right over here and you can always open it up like this so when it comes to actually recording I'll go walk through the steps you press continue then you have these profiles that you can create now you can create a new profile but I'm not going to do that profiles are basically just a little you know it's profile it's pretty self-explanatory profile is just your user right this little setting uh, these little variety of settings that you can open up if you want to open up profile one then it has all these settings then you can make a profile two with let's say a fixed rectangle for the video input compared to the entire screen 
So that's all profile is. You can record an entire screen, fixed rectangle, follow the cursor. Frames per uh, frame rate, I like to do 60 because even though 30 is more than enough, uh, 60 just stabilizes it. It looks very smooth at 60. And then I record my cursor usu usually. Recording audio, if you're using a microphone, recording audio is great to use. And you continue. You always save as a certain file. Uh, you can specify the file name, but first container by default is MKV. I'm not really a MKV person. I like to use MP4 because it's more of the standard. I would say MP4. A lot of people use it. MP4 is the way to go. And then the codec. Uh, sometimes messing around with the codec uh, provides better smoothness and better speeds. But for my computer, I can just set an H.264 in a super fast speed set. Ultra fast, there's a bunch of little settings over here, but it's really smooth for me. Uh, it depends on your computer speed. For the codec, I like to do AAC or MP3. Um, by default, it's Vorbis, but AAC is normally the standard, I would say. It's audio, um, it's a good codec to use, and then I set 128 bit rate. So then when you continue, you can start recording, you can set a hotkey shortcut. In this case, my hotkey is Control R. And then you can also start a preview, and then you can save your recording. So that's all there is to it. Since I have two, well, and I have two instances up. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you can get simple screen recorder working, then save the file to the specified place. And then you can use it to make videos or just to show your friends how to do something or make tutorials like myself. So thanks for watching, everyone. Please rate, comment, subscribe.